What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Races Explained. Thank you for tuning back in. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and click that. With that being said, today we're gonna to be talking about why your orthodontist has names and numbers for certain teeth. So let's go. So first what I want to talk to you guys about are the different names of teeth that we have in the mouth, like the canine and what's a molar. So we'll start off with that. And next we're going to talk about the numbering. So when the orthodontist says from the threes to the sixes, you'll know what we're talking about. So first off, let's get started with the naming of teeth. So for naming teeth, let's get started towards the front. These front four teeth are called incisors. The ones in the front are called your central incisors and the ones just to the side of them are called the lateral incisors. Just behind that, you have your pointy teeth, or what some people call their eye teeth. These teeth are called the canines. Just after the canines, we have a transitional two teeth before your molars. These next two teeth on each side are called your premolars because they're right before your that's right, they're right before your molars. The way we number the premolars is that the first premolar is closer to the front of your mouth and the second premolar is the one behind it. You have two molars on each side and sometimes you'll have a third one called a third molar. The third molars are what we call the wisdom teeth. This is your first molar and the one behind it is your second molar. So now that we know the names of the teeth, we're gonna start off with numbering. And there's three different numbering systems that are used in dentistry. And depending on where you are in the world and what kind of dentistry you're practicing, they use a different numbering system. So the three that are used are the universal, the Palmer, and the FDI. In orthodontics, we primarily use the Palmer system. The universal numbering system starts with the number one and goes all the way up to the number 32 and it's in a more linear fashion. We start off in your upper right third molar, which is your wisdom tooth, and go all the way across to your left third molar, which is number 16, down to number 17, which is your lower left third molar, all the way across to number 32, which is your lower right third molar. Let's take a look on the models. Everything we do in dentistry is in relation to the patient. So this is the patient's upper right, upper left, lower left, and lower right. So the tooth numbering system in the universal system begins with number one being the upper right third molar. Now, since this model doesn't have a third molar, the first tooth that you'll see is the upper right second molar, which is called tooth number two. And then we'll go straight across. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Once we get to this point, that's tooth number 15. There is no 16 or 17. So this is 18, 19, and so on, all the way up to 30, 31, and there is no 32. Some people might ask, if I have a tooth taken out, does that change the numbering system? And the answer is no. So basically you would pretend as if that tooth is there and keep moving on. So your number eight, even if what your wisdom tooth is taken out, it's still number eight. It doesn't become number seven. And that's because if you're missing teeth, it'd be really hard to communicate how this would work out. So we just make sure that the teeth keep their names. In orthodontics, it's a little bit easier. We only go through the numbers one to eight, but we do it by what quadrant you're in. And this is the Palmer system. So we would say your upper right one is the first tooth on your upper right, and your upper right eight would be your third molar on your upper right, which in the universal system was called the, you're right, number one. Let's take a look at the models and see how these numbers are done. In the Palmer system, we begin in the front and work our way back in each quadrant. So this would be your upper right one, upper right two, three, four, five. Same thing on this side. Upper left one, two, three, four, five. So the central incisors in all of Palmer are considered the ones and all of the first molars are considered the sixes. The last numbering system isn't too popular in America, but it is used around the world quite a bit, and that is the FDI system. 
very similar to the Palmer system where we use the upper right and upper left. Instead of using the quadrant name, they number it. So the upper right quadrant would be number one, your upper left quadrant would be number two, lower left would be number three, and lower right would be number four. So your upper right one, let's use this tooth as an example, would now be called one one or number 11. And the tooth just to the left of it, which is in quadrant number two, would be upper left one, which is number two one or 21. Again, let's take a look at the models and see how that's used. In the FDI system, much like the Palmer system, we start off with the ones being in the front, but we name them instead of by quadrant of upper right and upper left, we call it quadrant number one, quadrant number two, three, and four. So this would be your number 11. And this would be your number 31. And those are pretty much the numbering systems. In orthodontics, we primarily use the Palmer system, but when we communicate with other dentists, we can use other systems. It's really important to be able to know these different numbering systems to facilitate communication. Let me know what numbering system your orthodontist uses in the comments below. Like always, if you have any questions, go ahead and please leave them below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. For now, Dr. Greg, out.